Hello boys and girls, welcome to today's social studies lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning about Jamaica's traditional dances. Before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. Now what is a dance? A dance is a very important aspect of our Jamaican culture. It is one of the means through which people express how creative they are. Dance is enjoyed by young people and old people. Now, the development of our Jamaican traditional dances has been influenced by our African and European ancestors. They are the ones who basically brought many different types of dance to Jamaica. Some of these dances include the Brookings, the Komina, Maypole, Quadrille, and Dinkimini. These are the types of dances that we are going to be exploring today. Brookings is a mixture of African and European dance moves. The dancers are usually dressed in red and white or blue and white costumes. Now the Brookings party was a host to host parade of kings and queens, soldiers, they are dipping and wheeling while waving their arms gracefully. Now, it was performed in the past mainly to celebrate the anniversary of emancipation from slavery on August 1st, 1838. Kumina is a religious group which originated in Congo, West Africa and was brought to Jamaica by the free Africans who arrived between 1840 and 1860. According to Dr. Olive Lewin in her book, Rock It's Come Over, Kumina expresses the strongest African retention of Jamaican folk culture and provides powerful clues about the religious and social customs of the African ancestry. Kumina is generally performed in the parish of St. Thomas. It celebrates special events such as engagements and weddings. The three most important elements in a Kumina session are dancing and singing and drumming. The drums are believed to be the most important because of the control they have over the spirits. Maypole, also referred to as the long ribbon pole in rural areas, was a part of outdoor social festivals of Old England and Jamaica, and it was performed at fairs, garden parties, or picnics.
Maple involves the plaiting of different colored ribbons, demonstrating three basic traditional patterns, starting with the grand chain or basket weave, wrapping the ribbon around the pole from the top. There are various styles in maple, more popular being the spider web, flare, dome, and umbrella. Quadrille is a coupled male and female dance in Jamaica which was danced during slavery. There are three styles, the ballroom style, the camp style, and the contra style. The ballroom style of quadrille originated from the popular dance of the French and English in the 18th and 19th centuries and highlighted the elegance and mannerism of the elites of these societies. The camp style of quadrille, also known as long way set formation, includes African elements and is known as the Afro-Jamaican version of ballroom quadrille. The contra style quadrille is performed only to mental music from beginning to end. Dinky Mini is done on the eastern end of the island in the parish of St. Mary. It is usually performed after the death of a person until the ninth night. These nine night sessions are lively and are held usually to cheer up the bereaved family. During the performance, the male dancer bends one leg at the knee and makes high leaps on the other foot. Both male and females dance together with very suggestive pelvic movements. An integral aspect of this dance is the use of the instrument called a benta. Jankono, called John Canoe by the British, is a band of masqueraders which usually perform in towns and villages around Christmas time. The Jankono costumes go as far back as the days of slavery, but at that time the bands were very large and elaborate. The Jankona band was accompanied by musicians who would play tunes of well-known traditional songs on their bass and rattling drums, shakers and graters. The characters in the Jankona band were usually played by men. Their faces would be fully covered and when they spoke it would be in coarse whispers as it was a part of the tradition that no one should be able to identify them. Characters in the Jankuna masquerade were quite frightening to the public. Masqueraders were dressed in costumes such as King and Queen cow head, horse head, devil, pitchy patchy, 
Red Indians and Belly Woman. Okay boys and girls, so you have come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!